Let's get into some notable discussions that our audience is participating in. We do have a David Pakman Show subreddit. You can find it at davidpakman.com slash R-E-D-D-I-T. A few interesting posts I noticed this morning. One says, we should go to war with Iran. This is a user who's making the case that, listen, we took out Saddam's government in three weeks. His military was superior to Iran's, that it's inevitable that they are Islamic fundamentalists who in their constitution specify to spread Islam through violence and are not rational actors. And the idea here from this user is it's inevitable. Let's just do it, get it over with and then move on. And of course, a lot of people in our audience uh, pointing out that even if that's true, we'd rather someone other than Trump manage it. Like there's a lot of people in our audience who are just saying it's a bad idea to go to war with yeah. Iran. But then others are saying, even if we grant the premises that you're outlining, Trump's the last guy we want managing that. So a very interesting and agitated discussion on the David Pakman Show subreddit. Also, it has been revealed that the founder of Home Depot, Ken Langone, not Langor, as spelled uh, on, on this tweet, uh, on this post, but Ken Langone, referred to Bernie Sanders as the Antichrist in an article where he was interviewed and people calling for a boycott of Home Depot. Uh, I admit, I sometimes do go to Home Depot when I need uh, I find that local hardware stores that I've been to provide absolutely horrible service. Hmm. So I actually am a customer of Home Depot, but referring to Bernie as the Antichrist, I find that off-putting, I will admit. Is it off-putting? I don't, I don't yeah. think it's that bad. Really? Yeah. It seems pretty bad. Uh, it's like when uh, the, the nuts would say Obama's the Antichrist. I wouldn't go and then do business with them if they, if they had a business, which mo most of them didn't. Uh, but glad to know about Ken Langone's position. Um, another post on the David Pakman Show subreddit, pointing out that Bernie Sanders recently said, there are some people in the Democratic Party who want to maintain the status quo. They would rather go down with the Titanic so long as they have first class seats. I like that quote. And what it's in reference to is the blame effectively of the Democratic Party for uh, policies that aren't in line. And we can we can put that back up. There are a few other bullet points here. Policies that aren't in line with what most Americans support, being overly focused on the Trump Russia connection, accepting and courting uh, courting the wealthy for donor money, continuing to hire useless but expensive political consult consultants, basically pointing out the problems with the Democratic establishment. You know, I've talked about this before. I agree that there are major problems with the Democratic establishment, but some of these are just a little bit much for me. Like I there's nothing wrong with fully investigating Trump Russia collusion. Let's continue to do policy. Let's continue to prepare for the midterms. But the idea that that is merely a distraction of the Democratic establishment, I disagree with. But I, I generally speaking, agree with the quote from Bernie that there are people uh, with, with the relationship to the Democratic Party is like wanting first class seats on the Titanic. Um, and lastly, in relation to Jared and Ivanka Trump, an article pointing out that they were recently blessed by an Israeli rabbi who once compared black people to monkeys. Yeah, the the ha the hangers on that surfaced as a result of the move of the Israeli, the U.S. embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem are just really vile characters. There's not only this Israeli rabbi who once compared black people to monkeys that blessed Jared and Ivanka, but we also had Robert Jeffress who said Jews are irredeemably going to hell, brought to actually participate in the opening of the embassy in Jerusalem. We had John Hagee, who I don't even remember his full list of just absolutely horrible comments about who, Jews. He was involved in the opening of the embassy in Jerusalem. It's a just a, a horrible and disgusting cast cast of characters. And I'm glad that people on the uh, subreddit are pointing this out. You can join the subreddit. More than 6000 of our viewers and listeners regularly participating now at davidpackman.com slash Reddit. 